Before I begin today's video, I'd just like to first of all thank everyone for checking out the previous video. Last week's video is doing great. But what I've noticed is that there is still a huge percentage of you that are not subscribed to the channel. So the views are coming in and I appreciate it. Everybody's clicking the link. They're coming in slowly but surely. But the subscriber list in terms of who's viewing it is a bit down. So if we could work on that, get that up, then that would be great. That would be a tremendous help out for the channel. And of course, thank you for continuously looking at these videos. You could hit that um, notification bell to alert you when a new video is uploaded. And let's get straight into what today's topic is about. I touched on it in a previous video. That was the coronavirus, the four things I learned from that. You could check that out as well. Um, I'll leave a link to that so you could always refer to that video. Journaling for me was always seen as a necessary thing that I do at the end of the day. However, for a long time of my life, I dropped it off. So I remember that was something that we they forced us to do basically at my primary school. Um, at the end of the day, we sit down, we reflect, we write in our journal and you know you hold these thoughts you hold everything and it's a good time for you to reminisce on what really happened and these memories stay there um, because you made a note of it and actually there's a better mental connection when you write stuff down it works for me i'm sure there's some research that supports that and you definitely find a greater connection to whatever you put on paper and definitely i think it is a time for you to really Analyze what you're putting on that page, um, even if you do it on your phone, what you're putting on your screen, what are you typing in, it's really important to take note of these things. I think journaling has great benefits, especially after meditation, during meditation. It, it's a time to solidify what it is that you probably believe in or what you're even talking about. I think for me, how journalism has affected me and how it has definitely quote unquote saved my life. Um, and this has to actually do with the theme of persistence as well. This semester, I was actually kind of failing a course. <laughs> I was about to give up on said course, just drop it and it's like, mm, I'm going to do that next time. And I wrote it down in my journal and I, I said to myself, this is something that's really bad. Um, the grade right now, it's it's not good. And this ties into a lesson that failure teaches us, that sometimes, you know, you really need to be persistent. And failing is part of the process of success. And eventually, I wrote that down in my journal and I said, look, I am going to drop this course because I cannot take it affecting my GPA in this way. The potential repercussions of it affecting me as a student in my student life what is going to happen if I, you know, just drop it off? And definitely journaling showed me how that sometimes these little blunders are not, they are not the final um, destination. They're not even the final result of what great potential can come from you just sticking in there and doing what you have to do. Um, I think I even said Goku as my wallpaper. Um, during that time and kind of randomly pops up because to me it was important to know that there's a figure who never gives up Goku is not the best certain character I would say um, he's definitely not one of my favorite either but I think one thing that is a great quality that you can take away from him is definitely his persistence I don't think there has ever been a time where I've been looking at the anime slash reading the manga and it's like Goku is in a corner where he no longer wants to go forward. I mean, this is, I wish I could put, I should have put the Ultra Instinct one. For those of you who don't know the story, don't worry about that. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm dropping it right here. Boom. So when I wrote that down in my journal and I definitely was saying, you know, I'm going to get out of this course. It's going to affect me in this bad way. I, I reflected on why was it that I was getting out of this course? Who was I blaming? I was blaming the fact that I didn't have in a better study approach. I was looking at how 
my teacher was teaching the, the course lecturer was doing it i was looking at the material itself i was blaming the whole fact of how the university is structured i was blaming everything i was blaming einstein I was blaming, everybody was getting it except for myself and when i wrote down that look i am getting out of this i also wrote to myself but brandon what have you done or what do you even plan to do are you just running away that was that those were my words it's like you're just gonna be a quitter and that's it and you're okay with it and then you're eventually going to have to do this again and then quit again or probably succeed what are you changing or what are you now doing differently and it really came back to me just looking at a quote that i even have it on my wall the wall where i would actually be the backdrop for when i do my spoken word and it's a quote from bruce lee which states it's not the daily increase but daily decrease hack away at the unessential and for me that was very important because there was so much wasted time that i had there was so much empty space that i would never utilize and changing that tactic changing that strategy really helped me through the course um and of course i think journaling that was important because i wrote down that you know if i see my lecturer to drop the course when i go back to school um, this was around the coronavirus time as well, so this was all running on my mind that classes are going to be affected differently And of course, I wasn't able to see my teacher at the time So I was in this state where I'm gonna give up as soon as I see my teacher if I see them I'm dropping it and I kind of left it up to faith in a sense faith. Sorry in a sense um, I didn't see my teacher that day. I didn't see anybody who could have made me drop the course so I stuck with it and I decided that look if you give up now for these things, there's no telling what you would run away from if you continue to just, you know, run away. So in essence, that's when I really sat down and I wrote in my journal, I'm not giving up. And this is just a stepping stone that you can't just run away. Okay, you're on the failing grade now. What are you going to do? And that's when I came across a saying that the stoics often um, always say which is amor fati which means to accept the fate or love your fate and from that it was a reality i had to accept the reality that i am responsible for what condition in terms of my course grade in terms of where i am this is my responsibility and my the fate i'm currently in right now is that i'm failing and i had to come to terms with that and I switched it around and you know I passed and not just passed I mean I wish I could have received the A but I went up to a B plus and it was all about determining that I have to stick to this and of course finding that determination finding that persistence changing certain things definitely going back and, and saying that there are certain things that I've been doing wrong and how could i know that i was doing it wrong i went back to the same journal i i, I started up this trend where at the end of the day I, I write down things that i think went well things that didn't go well and one thing that was always persistent in the days that when i wrote about the things that didn't go well i always used to say procrastination i hate procrastination i would write that down that procrastination is holding me back but i i found myself consistently writing that and i'm like then what's the point why am i not changing it so I that's it journaling really helped me because it, it was a good time sometimes we sit down and we try to reflect and as humans I think sometimes all we really see is the good elements and there's a time to change that narrative really analyze that narrative and realize that sometimes you need to write down everything holistically to see how to make a decision and that's it for today um, this week also I will be dropping a spoken word Thursday this is the baby of the channel this is the reason why i even started this channel and i hope you guys check out that video as well and of course leave a like comment subscribe thanks for watching today's video